Resolving Routing Issues and State Management, Section 5. Forgetting to install View Router. This video is about installing the full featured View Router package into your existing Vue.js application. As you work on your application, you might run into the following situations, especially during the middle of development. One major problem you might encounter is that suddenly all the internal links just don't work. You know, the problem may not be in your code, but maybe the router package is corrupted or is not properly installed, right? Or maybe you just realized that, you know, you now needed to use routing because you have forgotten to select the router package when you first created the application. So what do you do now, okay? Um, if that's the case, don't worry because this is a very easy way to do it and you don't need to recreate the whole application again or you don't have to resort into trying to fix it yourself, okay? It's very easy and thanks to Node.js makes it so simple. So just follow these three simple steps. So first, you just basically install the package or if you already installed it and it's corrupted, basically you just uninstall it again and then reinstall it back and it should be back to go, okay? And then uh, the second step is basically once we install it, you have you just have to import it into your package. And again, if you already have an existing um, router and then all in place, you don't have to do anything after that. Just basically install the package and you're done. Okay. And then once you import it, then just don't forget to use it. Okay. View.use. I'll show you that in, in a minute. And then finally, just go ahead and create the paths and to the map. And then you map all these components and you are good to go. So let's see how this is done. Okay, here, starting with the unit testing application. Okay, before I do that, though, I want to show you just really quickly, like when you start on a new application, I just press the control back tick to show the command terminal here. And when you create a new application, it asks you to like select a certain packages during that process, right? So I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to show you to that step. I'll stop there. So to install a new package, I mean new application, just say view init web, I'm using webpack, and then the application will be just my app, for example, hit enter, and it's going to ask you a certain steps, it shows that I'm using the older version, so you, as you can see, by the time that this, you know, version of video recording is out, probably, you know, you will have a new version, maybe a CLI 3 coming out soon. Okay, so the project name, I just leave it as default, description, leave it blank, author, I'll just skip that for now, the runtime will be just yeah, the default setting. So right here, at this step, it asks you to install router, the view router. And if you have selected no, then you will not have the router installed. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here. If you said yes, then yeah, it's going to install the router module, everything there, and you should be good to go. Okay, so this is the step. Actually, if you didn't do that, okay, and then that's what happens. So back here in the application, a unit test one right here. So as you can see, I don't have the router here. I removed it and I want to show you again how this is done. Very simple. Okay, so what you do is basically install this, right? So I'm going to go back to the command and line again. I'm used the power node one here. So here is the location. I don't want to close this. I'm just going to go into unit two here. And I'm going to go right into this unit testing and let me clear this up. Okay, so basically just say npm install. Okay. And then you want to use this dash dash save. Okay, this is a special keyword that actually will save this package into this file called package.json. Okay. It's going to put right in here so all your dependencies, all the patch package modules inside this node module folders here, all being tracked in this file. And this is a really important file. And this is also why, you know, as share your programs around, you don't have to, you know, send all these modules over because this package JSON will install everything automatically from the uh, internet. So the dash dash save so that it will be saved inside this package JSON. And I'll tell you why you need it. So, and then just the view dash router. Okay, so hit enter. And it's going to install that for us. It might take a couple of minutes, maybe like a minute or two. So I'm just going to wait for that to install. And I'm going to go and then scroll up here so we can see in the dependency. I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere. So right in here, I think in line 15. 
it's going to add that view router into the dependency because of this dash dash save in the command line. So if you don't put the dash dash save, it's not going to save into this package file. And so if you were to, you know, share your program, then they're not going to have this dependency and they have to reinstall or they wouldn't find it. So it's good to have it. Okay, so this is done. As you can see, a line 16 has been added. Okay, so the route is saved to the package JSON. I can close this now. And one thing is that you don't want to delete it. So when you do the uninstall, it's going to move it, remove this automatically from the package JSON. So if it's corrupted, then you want to keep this in there. So that's why if you just do we install it will just bring everything back so let's close that good to go so that's the first step you install that now inside the node modules I should have showed you earlier but it, it wouldn't be in there if you checked it and it's at the very bottom way down here under the V so you should have a view router as you can see it's not here yet okay so we're gonna do a refresh okay and then do it again under the V and you will see that now the router has been added here. Okay, so it's been there now. It's there now. And then we can go ahead and go to the next step. So inside the SRC folder, inside here, the main, we have to put the router in here. And the components, as you can see, there's no package in here. It is usually if you install it from the beginning of the application, you will have a folder called router in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. So let's create a new folder called router. Okay, in that space. In the application here, right, we had a simple a site that looked just like this. This is your usual uh, site here. There's no there's no link here, right? If you can go anywhere you want, you're just gonna load the same page here. We got this no routing. Okay, so back here, I'm gonna close that, and then inside the main JS file. Okay, you can do a routing right here if you want, because you don't have to go into a separate file. Well, the idea is to go there because you want to, you know, separate everything into their own location, into their own file. It's easier to manage. But I just want to show you right here so we can uh, easily move it back in, inside the router file. So basically, if it's in the same location, which I don't recommend, but I just want to show you real quick anyway, you just go like, you can set to a new a new uh, variable just say something like maybe a constant you know what maybe better not do it that way I think we should go into the um, router and create a file in there okay so create a new file this can be called index usually called index because if you do that then when I import into the main file here I don't have to mention the index by default it will recognize this file okay so in here we need to import like the view so we do import view we always need that right from view and we need to import the router as well okay so import the router you can call this router anything you want just a variable name in this case but it's commonly called just router and view router okay if you have not installed router you will not see it here and then now, because I have two files, the Hello World and the Ripple Counter. So if you want to use those and they put those into a router, then you import those as well. Okay, so import the Hello World. From This is from a component, right? So let's see, from the component. Components folder. I think I want to put that dash and forward slash in front. It needs to go there. And this is the hello world. And I'm going to copy this again and put it down here. Maybe it's faster. This is the, the ripple counter. Okay, copy that, put it over here. Okay. And then I mistype from. So now we imported those two, and then you want to use it. So you have to say view use and use the router you just created. Okay, you can, we call it router. I'm going to call it my router. It doesn't matter. Again, just a variable name in this case. Unlike Angular, it has to match the actual component name, but view, you don't care in this case. 
and then uh, we need to do the export right so export the default just like you export a new in this case the router again this router here is this router right here if you call my router this would be my router here okay so in the router it takes an object and the object usually has this thing called routes okay so it routes as an array of object again okay so each of these object contains a specific route and that is the URL so it takes a property called path you have to supply this one so this is the root directory if it's the root directory it will go into the component name what is it called well this is the hello world component right and there is a, another variable called name. It's optional. You don't have to use it, but if you want to, you could put name in here. Okay, so I can just say, you can use the same name as the pack component. Usually you put in lowercase because you use this inside the URL. Okay, but for now, we'll just leave it at that. And there's another one, but I think for now it's okay. So these are all, we call this top level router, right? So I got that there. I'm going to copy this and just do one more time here, comma, and then paste that. And this is the ripple counter. And we're going to call this counter here. Okay, you call whatever you want. If you match this pattern, it's going to go and load this package. That's what it's trying to tell you. So I think that's it. Let's save this file. Go into the main. And we need to import that in here. So import the router. We use the lowercase this time from the router folder okay so you can just stop here i can go and put the index i want to but you don't have to because it will react that by default okay and then don't forget to add that to the view instance here just say router okay and you're done this is basically saying router equals router okay it's the same thing because it's just the same thing so view says hey you don't do it you just do that it's fine okay and I think that's all it is. And then let's see. We can save this and go to the page and see if this works. As you can see, this no pattern, so it's going to load that home page. If I go that, that's the home page. If I go into the counter, okay, as you can see, it doesn't load. And the reason why is because we didn't put that, we didn't say where to load it to. So let's go back here and the main app component. I'm going to load that like maybe right above here. Uh, let's just write up below that image. So we're going to use the router view. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Okay. Let's save that. So there it is, right? It's duplicated because it's on top of that app. So let's fix this. I'm going to move all of these here. I'm going to delete all of these because I already have a copy inside that, that Hello World there. So I'm going to keep just that route view here. Okay. And then I'll save that. And then the Hello World is in here. It's the same content here. But when I go to that route, it's going to display that for me. So here it is. The counter loads this. And if I go home, it loads the home page. Okay, so that's how you do it. And very simple like that. You can save you a lot of headaches. And you can, you know, go back and fix your application really quickly like that if you know what you're doing. So one last thing I want to show you is that and the command right in here. Okay, I showed you earlier where the JSON is. It's a JSON file this one here okay this is here in here so this whole keeps track of all your dependencies okay let's just say that for some whatever reason you come in here and maybe somebody accidentally deleted the package in here right I'm not gonna yeah so let's just say that if you go in here and this is suddenly suddenly it's gone okay I'm gonna delete it okay so now it's gone and it's asking for some problem here. Yeah, it's going to say, okay, continue, remove that. Okay, hopefully that will 
destroy everything. If it's not, we'll figure out why. Okay, well, it's a lot of... Yes, go ahead. If it's gonna do it. Yeah, it won't let me do it, whatever reason. But if you happen to delete this, okay? Well, let's say this is gone. Maybe if I can rename this. I can call it like um, X. Okay, just rename that. Okay, it's gone now. I think it's deleted now. No, it's still here. Okay, so if this is gone, and all you have to do is go back in here and you type in npm install. That's all you do. If you do that, then what it will do is going to go to this package.json file. It will look through all these dependencies here and compare that to your modules folder here. If there's anything missing in that folder, it will install that automatically for you. So this file is very important. And so if I have this router in here already, and if I happen to delete that folder, I just hit that install, and it will do that for me automatically. So very, very helpful. All right, so by following the three simple steps, you can safely install the full feature router package at any time during the development cycle and save you a lot of headaches.